Only six days left until the royal wedding next Friday with a worldwide audience expected to reach one billion. Prince William and Kate Middleton will walk down the aisle at Westminster Abbey. And we have a bit of breaking news this morning as the official guest list has been released and it includes a few surprises. Joining us now from Buckingham Palace with an inside look at the final days. That's not nice, the final days. The days before the <laughs> wedding is CBS News Royal Contributor Victoria Arbiter. Victoria, good to see you. Good morning, Russ. Good to be talking to you. Well, tell me about this guest list. Who's on it? Well, we have confirmation on a selected few on the guest list. Included, it shows how very thoughtful this couple are. We've got a number of injured servicemen included, as well as the families of two of William's colleagues from Sandhurst who did lose their lives in Afghanistan. Nice to see them on the list. The obvious celebrities. We've got confirmation on David and Victoria Beckham, Elton John and his partner David Furnish, film director Guy Ritchie, actor Rowan Atkinson, and also a new name that had not been talked about before, Joss Stone. She did perform at the Diana Memorial Concert in 2007. No Rebecca Jarvis on the list, though, I'm <laughs> guessing, right? <laughs> I didn't see Rebecca's name today, but it's only selected few that have been confirmed. Okay, you may want to just check that again. Do you know anything about the seating plans at this point? We do, we do. Uh, a lot of people in the Abbey are going to be restricted to seeing the wedding service on television screens dotted around, but the families will be up at the front near the couple. The Queen will be sitting in the front row on one side, along with Prince Philip, Charles and Camilla and Harry. The rest of the royal family will be behind her, along with visiting European royalty. Opposite our royal family will be the Middletons, and behind them, the Spencer family, including Earl Spencer, who will be there with his soon-to-be third wife, American philanthropist Karen Gordon. Mm, tell us about the bells that we'll be hearing during the ceremony. This really surprised me this morning, Russ. We've learned that the bells are going to toll for three hours following the service. They'll be at a full peal, which is only performed for very important royal, national, and abbey occasions. A full peal has more than 5,000 sequences, and it's going to be quite an endurance test because they are not rung by computer. There will be 10 bell ringers, all being led by a conductor for the full three hours. Okay, let's talk about uh, the night before the wedding. We're, we're presuming they're not going to be staying together that night. What are each one of them going to be doing? No, each one of them will be spending the night before the wedding quietly with family. Kate will be at the five-star luxury Goring Hotel, which is just around the corner from Buckingham Palace. Obviously, she'll be leaving from there the next morning. And William will be having a quiet night with Charles and Harry at Clarence House. It's very rare that the three of them get to be together. Their schedules are crazy, so it'll be nice to have some quiet time the night before the wedding. I know Kate was seen this week uh, buying a couple of bikinis. Does that say anything about where the honeymoon may be? Well, it's been great fun seeing all the speculation in terms of honeymoon destinations. We're guessing somewhere hot just because of the items that she's bought this week. But we've had everything from Corfu to Jordan to Transylvania. That was thrown out this week. Wow. Prince Charles does have an estate there, but I don't know that they'll be visiting Transylvania. My guess is either Mustique or Kenya, where they're guaranteed some privacy. Okay, we've got a, a results of a new CBS News New York Times poll. The question is, is it acceptable for Kate Middleton to have a job after her marriage? This was a poll conducted in the UK, Acceptable, 52 percent. Not acceptable, 39 percent. Victoria, are you surprised at those results? Well, I'm just surprised by this poll question, to be honest, because everybody knows that the royal family works incredibly hard. They just don't have a nine-to-five job like regular people, I suppose. But to give you an example of the type of year Kate can expect, last year, Princess Anne did over 500 public engagements. The Queen at 85 did 400 public engagements. So Kate is going to be working harder than she probably ever has, with unsociable hours thrown into the mix as well. So she will be working, just not a regular job that you or I would have. I understand. Victoria how would you describe the buzz there six days out? Oh, there's no question that the anticipation is really building. There's numerous people in town. In fact, outside Buckingham Palace, it's been six times the normal people we would expect for changing of the guard, partly because it's Easter weekend, but partly because everyone is flocking into town for the big day. So there's a real sense of excitement. Okay, Victoria Arbiter, as always, thanks a lot. Check that list one more time for Rebecca. I'm sure you're just an oversight on your part. <laughs> thanks, Russ.